All right, guys, welcome to our team call, our Fit Family Network team call. Was that a, a nice big hello, Barton? <laughs> um, so what is the date? Today is the 13th of November, so we are plugging along this month. It seems like, gosh, it seems like it just started, like this month just started, and now it's almost the middle of the month, and then it's Thanksgiving almost already, so... Um, real quick, now that I mentioned Thanksgiving, um, for some of you guys that are maybe newer coaches, Beachbody does do a Black Friday sale, and um, they will usually give you the information about it the week of Thanksgiving. It's not anything that has to do with challenge packs and stuff, though. It's usually kind of like very similar to the summer sale, if you were around for that, where it was like... Um, like a lot of the equipment, like the foam rollers and the resistance bands and the pull-up bars and some of the programs that um, kind of you don't really need because they're on like the member library of Beachbody On Demand, but some people just like to have the actual discs and stuff. So like some of those programs like Asylum, you know, things like that will be on sale, um, Tai Chang and uh, so, you know, they usually have some cool stuff that you can get and they make great giveaways to like stock up on to give to challengers and things like that. So, um, just be, um, you know, putting your feelers out there. I've seen a lot of like, normally we're not very salesy and we don't post stuff like that, but, um, around this time of year, sometimes I see some of the other like network marketing type groups, uh, that will post and they'll want to collaborate too, um, you know, doing like holiday gift giving groups and stuff like that. So just an idea to throw out there. Um, but anyways, as you guys know, um, November was the launch month for Beachbody's newest program, Core to Force. And I had the really cool experience to actually get some one-on-one -on -one time with Joel and Jericho when I went to the leadership retreat in San Diego last month. And um, I know this sounds weird, but like a lot of the other, a lot of Beachbody's other trainers like Sean T, Tony Horton, Sagi, they're already very celebrity-fied, you know, like they know they're famous and that everybody loves them and kisses the floor they walk on and that kind of thing. And like, so they're already like celebrity status, but Joel and Jericho, they're still new into being like these fitness celebrities in Beachbody land. So they're still eating it up. Like they still want to be around all these coaches and love the attention and love the newness and excitement of everything. So like they, they just loved like answering questions and talking to us at leadership retreat. And like, you know, they, Joel was in the pool, like hanging out in the pool. Like it was just that close, you know? So anyways, we got a lot of time to like chat and whatever. And that's kind of how I got the cool opportunity. Well, Mike did of asking him to be in our, test group that we're running just for our team for Fit Family Network. So um, we actually, Jenna Stefano, the founder of Healthy for Life, her and I were both also in coach test groups. I was in the country heat test group. She was in the test group for 21 Day Fix Extreme. So we decided that we were going to join forces together using our experience from our own test groups. And create our own test group for core to force and we got Joel in on it as well. So we asked for applications for any of you guys that wanted to apply and be part of this um, really cool opportunity, knockout opportunity, I think I called it. So we are about one week in, like we had, I guess like a week of prep and then that we are just, we just finished our week one of the program on Sunday. So I posted in there and I just wanted to get some feedback from some of the people that are in the group and I just want to hear from you guys about um, what you think of Core to Force so far, um, you know, how you think it's going to help you find and attract and help more customers, uh, more clients and help them to get more 
kind of just, you know, help them in general. Is this a, is this a, are you excited to promote and share about this new program? And also I want to, you know, ask you guys to share about the experience of this particular challenge group. Like I know as a coach, it's always kind of fun to go back into the role of a challenger again sometimes because, you know, you get burnt out sometimes always being the one leading the group. Sometimes it's nice to be treated like a challenger again. Um, but I also just, you know, I want you guys to maybe share as well, like how you're going to use this experience going forward in helping your team and helping your challengers and maybe some things that we're doing differently in this, um, in this group that you're going to be able to use and implement. So does anybody have any, well, let's start with Sarah since you're in my top left corner. Okay. Um, so it's been interesting so far. Um, I have stuck to the meal plan hundred percent to the best of my ability. You know, like it's kind of hard to fit an apple in a container or a potato in a container kind of thing. But to my knowledge, I have not done any cheating as far as, you know, the stuff I would usually cheat on. Um, um, in one week I've lost three and a half inches overall. Um, I don't own a scale, so there, I, I went to the gym today, but I had just eaten. So that was all wonky off anyway. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, I have to say this program <laughs> definitely kicks your butt. Um, I have never, I've been complaining to my husband all week every time I get off the couch and I drink Recover and I'm used to drinking Recover, running seven miles, drinking Recover, not being sore the next day. I drink Recover and I am like sore in spots and muscles that I didn't know I owned. So it's really working um, areas that are crazy and I know that I'm not perfect because I'm like the least coordinated person on the planet or at least I'm clumsy and um, I'm still seeing results I still feel like it breaks down really well each step and once you get the flow of things and yeah you have to kind of say out loud because everyone goes at their own pace in it. So it's easy to follow, but sometimes I fall behind because they'll switch the camera angle and the person I was watching <laughs> disappears. But it's nice that you can go on your own pace rather than having to follow a beat um, or something like that. And I love the modifier, she's great. You know, like especially for there are certain steps that I find that I get tangled up on if I overthink it. And so it's fun watching her, but, um, it's a great variety. I was kind of surprised at the variety that it offered. Like today was a whole 15 minute, just core work and it was all on the ground. So it's not complete boxing and it's not complete MMA style. It's, it's a really good mix of a lot of different things. And I think as being a challenger, it's been fun hearing everyone complain or giggle at, you know, like for the deluxe version, there's an agility ladder and everybody getting tangled up in that. And, you know, it's just been fun um, kind of being on equal foot footing with everybody else. And, um, you know, not everyone's looking to you to be like, you're not on a pedestal in a sense. You know, like your team expects you to be like perfect and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of ha nice not having that pressure of, I mean, you want to be proof that the product works and you want to be that for your challengers. But, you know, it's kind of nice that, oh, I thought about having this, but I ran away, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, that's been nice. And as always, it's, it's great as far as showing on my own page, you know, it, it might not be the program for everybody, but I've heard a lot this past week of people, oh, I've seen you've been doing X, Y, and Z, and so it opens doors to, well, do you kind of like that style of exercise? Well, no, not really. Well, how about something like Country Heat? Does that sound better, you know, more up your alley? So it's really opened some more doors because I'm more, I find that the more that I broadcast the program that I'm on and being consistent in it, and saying what day I'm at, the more people who I don't necessarily, you, know, you can't invite everybody every day kind of thing. 
but they'll, they're starting to come to me and making comments. And so it makes it less work in that sense. And it makes it enjoyable because then you don't feel like you're forcing, you know, like, Hey, here's quarter force. <laughs> Would you like to try it? People are naturally curious about whatever program that you're doing. And because it's new and that kind of thing and very different from a diff from beach body perspective. Um, a lot more people are at least curious enough to ask or comment, Hey, I saw your video yesterday. <laughs> Great job. Mm -hmm. I could never do that. That kind of thing. So, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um, okay. Who do we have? All right. Alicia. What's been like different about this group than like other challenge groups maybe that you've been a part of? Um, I have to admit that it's nice to go back to becoming a challenger again. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of like what Sarah said, um, that, we're, that we're being held more accountable, I guess, to our own goal because I think, as a, well, as a coach, it's just maybe too easy to motivate and encourage everybody else to follow a nutrition plan and the workout guide and not necessarily focus on yourself. So I feel like I'm being held more accountable to my own goals, which I know that I have slipped up on over the past few months as I've been helping to motivate and inspire so many other people. So mm -hmm. it's kind of just nice to get back to that and get back to the basics of doing the portion containers and making sure to stick to your own personal goals. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just nice that when you post into the group, we're all coaches, so we kind of all have that understanding between each other um, as far as the challenges of following a nutrition plan and the workouts. The workouts are definitely challenging, um, which is which is great. I like a challenge, and so I've, I've really enjoyed the program, the workouts. Awesome. Thank you. Um, okay. Cabe, what's your thoughts so far? And try not, I mean, I know sometimes a lot of what you're going to want to say will overlap with what other people said, but. Yeah. So, um, I just got done doing a live video, which is why I hopped on right when I did, because I did a live video of my results for week one and did a little Q&A. So, that was kind of awesome. I had a lot of viewers on there that haven't asked me questions, but I think have been following me this week, because what I have been doing is I've been trying to post um, some type of a live video at least every other day of of usually a workout move or something about the nutrition. But I, I just, I think that that's really important. Um, so I've been trying to do that. I wanted to, I want to share something um, that's really ironic and funny because when this program came out, I think we were on success club trip when they first dropped it or whatever, or we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, I completely blew it off. I was like, that's totally not my style. I've never done mixed martial arts. In my frame of mind, that's what I already had assumed it was going to be, some type of mixed martial arts thing. That's not me. I like weights. I like cardio, blah, blah, blah. And I honestly was not even going to probably do the program. And up until... <laughs> I thought up until, okay, it was announced that, oh, we're going to have this elite group, right? So because we always want to be a part of something, and I'm just going to be honest, I probably really was not even going to do the program until mm -hmm. I was like, I need to be in that group. But the funny thing was, when I decided that I really wanted to be in the group was when I needed it the most, because um, I let my nutrition go for a long time. I have not followed a program. And the last program I followed was Hammer and Chisel, which was last December and January um, because of my marathoning. And it couldn't have come at a more perfect time. And I really felt that it was meant to be. And I am obsessed with this program. And I'm obsessed with sharing with women 
about the core factor and that it isn't, it, it's amazing. You know, I lost two and a half inches in one week off my core and, um, and that blows my mind. And, and so anyway, mm -hmm. I love being a challenger. I think us as coaches, we're constantly giving, 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 and we do put ourselves last at times. So it, I think it's really awesome that you guys decided to run this group for us because it really is rejuvenating. I think a lot of us in getting feeling back as a challenger, which was when we started coaching as a challenger. So anyway, um, I'll keep that short. It's awesome, amazing, and I love it. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Um, Amber, do you have anything you want to share so far? I know you've had some great results that you posted about. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, this is like definitely the hardest program I have ever done. And I was like terrified of it. And I think the group helped me a lot. Like whenever you did the little thing about it, I got excited about it. And my excitement like went over to my kids and now they're doing the program with me and they're seeing results wow. and they're sticking with the meal plan and my oldest son is getting a six pack now which is crazy but um like i don't know when i heard about it i was like it's not me because i can't imagine ever actually hitting anybody but now I think like if somebody was ever to like come after me, I could like seriously take them down or at least slow them down <laughs> or something. But I did a little simple thing and I just felt like a badass and it was like awesome. Yeah. And like the group also knowing that Joel's in it and can see everything, I think keeps me more accountable because mm -hmm. it's like, he's like this big person and like, you have to do everything right or you're going to like totally screw everything up. And <laughs> I don't know. It's helped me out a lot. And like, he's like my picture twice on Instagram too. So I was like, oh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's great. It's totally kicked my butt and it's worth it. And I'm losing my back fat, which I have always had. And like, I still have fat on my front, but I have abs under the fat which is awesome, but that's it. <laughs> what, was your, what was your week one results? Um, 7.2 pounds and 11 inches lost. Wow, that's crazy. We're so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, Tanya's in the group. Tanya, what are your thoughts on the group so far? First, I want to thank you for doing it because this is the first time since I started Beachbody that I'm actually in a challenge group that I'm the challenger. I never had anybody do a challenge group for me or anything like that. So it's nice to actually be on the other side and be a challenger Aww. and be able to like ask questions and get answers and not just kind of think I know what I'm talking about. Um, so thank you for doing it. You and Jenna both. It's awesome. I but them. I am absolutely in love with this program. And I honestly didn't think I would love another program the way that I love Country Heat. Mm -hmm. But this brings me back to the type of group workouts that I used to train and teach at gyms because it was all like that style and it was kind of like a MMA meets P90X when I used to teach the classes. So it makes me feel like I'm back in those classes and I absolutely, I love it. I'm five pounds down in the first week mm -hmm. and I really wasn't expecting to lose any weight, but this is the first time ever that I followed the meal plan 100% with the fitness program. The only other time I ever followed the meal plan 100% was when I did the ultimate reset. Yeah. Other than that, I would have my cheat days or I'd have my wine or I'd be like, oh, yeah, I can do an extra slice of pizza. But this time I'm actually like gone out to dinner twice and I'm like, nope, I can't eat any of that. I can just have what's on my plate right here and that's it. Um, so thanks to the group, it's actually really held me accountable to staying on track. Awesome. Um, okay. Who else? Uh, Tara. I see that you're on the call, but I don't see your picture, so I'm not sure if you're there. Are you there? Maybe not. I just want to add something in really quick. Mm -hmm. The reason this program is very different as far as the meal plan goes. 
So I expected it to be like 21 day fix and it's, it's not. Um, all I have to say is any program that lets you have an extra blue container for an entire week is totally worth trying to do. So it builds and really like works with your metabolism in a different way than any other Beachbody program has done before. And I didn't know that before we signed up for everything. So, you know, week wine, you stick to regular 21 day fix, except no dessert and wine aren't allowed at all. And then you get an extra purple the second week, the third week, you get an extra purple and an extra blue. And the fourth week you go back to the first week. So it's definitely, that part is kind of cool. I have to say, cause I'm, I'm all about the food. <laughs> <laughs> I like food and you know anything that lets you have you know two per two blues you know how can, bad could it be but just to let everyone know that when you get the book and go wait a minute what happened to xyz that's you know yeah I like that part <laughs> awesome all right was that everybody that's in the group did I miss anybody no okay I think I got everyone so anyways, guys, um, well, I had a call today with Arnold, and for those of you that are going to be at Winter Summit coming up in a couple weeks, which is crazy, um, Arnold is going to be there um, for one night for our, for our Diamond Night, and um, I was telling him about our Core to Force uh, Knockout Challenge, and he was just telling me that some of the like issues, I guess you could say that happen when you do like coach challenge groups is that like, if you're taking your team on this journey of being a challenger again, you have to make sure that you're still doing your coaching activities as well. <laughs> Cause he said that he's talked to some other like top coaches and stuff where they've done these big team wide coach challenge groups and everyone's like, yay, I love being a challenger. And then they like just, be a challenger and like don't do anything to build their business. So I was like, well, I don't really think that's happening with ours because um, like the other cool thing that we're doing as part of this group, um, like a few people mentioned the accountability and we actually have these little teams. Like we, Jenna and I grouped everybody up into groups of three into, we called it the nutrition ninjas and they each made their own team names. And so those little groups of three are working together on their nutrition um, each week so that they're staying on track with that and their workouts and they tag each other and stuff, which really helps with the accountability. But then in addition to that, on Tuesdays, Jenna has her, she gets the floor to make an assignment um, to the group that is like usually some kind of a Facebook Live challenge to force you to share something about the program and then my day is on Thursday. And usually the the assignment is something that is going to make you share more about the program other than like, here's my selfie, just finished day five, done. You know, like it's forcing you to say more about it than just that. Like, what's an obstacle that you overcame? Why is this pro, like, what's, what are you most excited about with this program? What was one of your fears with the program? What's one of your favorite moves, moves from today's workout and that kind of thing. So, um, so I, I assured Arnold that I don't think that's what's going to happen with our group. Although I do understand what he means because I do think that that, I mean, I could see what he means, but anyways. Um, so real quick before we leave off, um, does anybody want to share like maybe one thing that you are taking away from this experience that you're going to put forward into your next challenge group? You know, like maybe having people do a video to apply or doing the nutrition ninjas or um, something like that? Like, do you, are you finding one of the, like one specific thing that you think is really helping you to stay more, like taking this more serious than any other challenge group? Does that make sense? I want to incorporate the nutrition ninjas in my challenge groups when I run them. That's the one thing that's helping me the most. Yeah. Every day we're talking all day long in a Facebook group message and we're taking pictures of our food and giving each other ideas. And when we're done with our meal plan, we're sharing it with each other. Like, did I forget anything? Check me, make sure I got it right. I love that. And I think that's a great value for the challenge groups. Cool. I actually um, was sharing the, 
weeks with, with Amber last week when we had a Zoom. So I've been a coach for, it'll be three years in December. And this was the first group that I've ever, so I started a group that opened up today of court enforcers um, because I wanted to be able to tie in with what I'm learning from this challenge group into to the one that I'm running. But this was the first time I ran, I've ever run a challenge group where I've been really strict with my challengers. And the thing was, is they had to be on Shakeology. That was one of my stipulations for the challenge group. And I know some coaches, they, they're like, I always run my challenge groups that they have to be on Shakeology. Some don't. I never have. But I was very, um, I was taking this challenge so personally myself with the nutrition and everything that I wanted to carry it through to the, that my challenge group was going to, A, be on Shakeology is a must. I'm sorry, but um, I can put you in a daily check-in other type of group, but this was a must. Two, I'm actually having them um, check in in the evening with the, their three things that they've done, workout, shakeout, and I've actually had them not quote sign legally, but had them uh, agree that they would do the following things that I requested, or they would have to, um, they would be leaving the group. And you know, when I say that, I'm like, oh my gosh, how it sounds so bad. But I was just like, I just want challengers to take this serious. And I think because we get so used to running these challenge groups and then the week, then they die off the second week, then it's crickets and then blah, everything like that, that I was like, darn it, I'm doing this. I'm going to be 100%. I demand that from my challengers. So I'm kind of cracking the whip this challenge group, and it's only because of being in this knockout challenge group. So I've learned a lot, I think, and, and so anyway, that's the challenge group that I'm running. And so far, it's totally going awesome. But I mean, I know it's just new, but anyway. <laughs> Love it. Thank you for sharing. Anyone else? Okay. Well, all right. It's about 9.30. So um, next week, we have a very exciting guest speaker. We have Amber, who's going to be speaking on her very first team call. So we are very excited about that. Um, so that'll be on Monday, and we'll have more of an idea of the topic and stuff. So I'll post that shortly. But make sure you're telling your teams um, that that will be coming up. And other than that, um, if anyone has anything else, feel free to post that in the chat. Um, and thank you guys for hopping on. I will post, I'll upload this to YouTube so that we can share this with our teams. I think there's a lot of great information in here. And that's all I got. So have a great night, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you all for sharing. All my quarter force peeps, thanks for sharing your experience so far.